Safety Microelectronics, we are continually working to improve our training and education offer to enable more and more people to get the best out of our products. At our STM32 Education webpage, you will find a range of tools to help you become an accomplished STM32 developer. For example, we have a large series of detailed online trainings for our well-known STM32F7 and STM32L4 families, as well as MOOCs, videos, textbooks, partner training courses, and so on. To complement this, we have now created a short series of five step-by-step -step tutorials that will bring you right through from STM32 tool installation to advanced software development if you are ready to go, check out this link. The first tutorial shows you how to install the main tools needed to program the STM32. So, after this tutorial, you should be able to open and play with the professional STM32 ecosystem. You will also be able to embed an application provided with the ecosystem in the Nucleo board. Finally, you will be able to run the Blink LED example in debug mode. The second tutorial shows you how to use the STM32 Cube MX tool to configure the pins, start the peripherals, and build and generate your projects with initialization C code using HAL. After this tutorial, you should be able to create and configure an STM32 Cube MX project and generate initialization code, and program and use HAL functions to blink an LED on the Nucleo L476RG board. The third tutorial will get you familiar with the L475 IoT node discovery board and show you how to program and use an RS-232 serial link. The fourth tutorial will explain how to use the sensors available in the STM32L4 Discovery Kit. We do a step-by-step -step description of how to configure the temperature sensor. After this tutorial, you will be able to measure and collect values using the sensors available on the BL475E IoT01A board. The fifth tutorial shows how to program and use the Bluetooth interface to perform data communication between the STM32L4 Discovery Kit IoT node and an Android application running on a mobile. After this tutorial, you will be able to build an IoT system, control it from your mobile monitoring sensors, and collect data.